Oh, so he wants to get started first, and then he's going to get to play. So he's just let me know when you're ready. You can start first. All right. Hey, what's good? What's going on, everybody? You already know who this is. It's your favorite sofa, utmost higher goddess herself. Shark coming at you once again here at the PG Podcast, man. You know, I be in my bag with the artists, the guests, public figures, influencers, and man. This special one kind of snuck up on me, bro. I got a guess for y'all, man. If you know that 7-Eleven, you feel me? Like, hey, yo, hood, you feel me? I, they, hood, hey, get out of here, you feel me? You know what I'm talking about. The TikTok star himself. They, hey, hood official in the building. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? Hey, hey, we here. So, look. So you gotta talk your shit. Let these people know, man. What's going on? First of all, tell them where you're from. You know, from Shreveport, Louisiana. Right. How we get here, and then we gonna start talking about the journey of TikTok and all the shit that came with it. Oh, you sure you really wanna know? How yeah, we I wanna get know. In? I want all the dirt. Ooh, the good and the bad. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. Mm. May run some people out of business. Oh, Lord. Ooh, Lord. So look, we are gonna start it off like this then, because this is something my people don't even know. Ooh, you know what I'm okay. Saying? They be thinking, you know what I'm saying, a hood is a, like a, a alter ego like or like a character or something. Yeah. It nah. ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's you? Oh, God. Like, I was, <laughs> I was really out there, like, 2019, 2018, Shreveport, Louisiana, I was, like, the biggest drug dealer. Oh, shit. Like, dead ass. Damn. Shit, I got caught. Made the news. That was my first time being famous. Yeah, on the news. <laughs> on the news. I was like, oh, man, we made it. <laughs> I said, oh, bitch, we made it. For real. You think I'm playing? No, I believe you. No, dead ass. I believe you like, for, for real. real. Like, Damn. So after that, I moved to Georgia. Okay, that's big step from Louisiana to Georgia. Right. And what was the reason for that one? Because I made bond on a $100,000 bond, and I fled <laughs> Oh, I, would, I think I would run too. I'd be like, deuces? Man, that was a lot. Bro, convicted fella with a firearm ah. for manufacturing distribution? Stop it. I'm looking at 20 plus. No, for real. They about to lock your ass up for real. I said, I'm going to at least be gone and run on because my son know how old I am or who <laughs> I am. You know what I'm saying? He won't. They can catch me when he's 10. He when he's 10, he's like, at least got to know who you are. Right. <laughs> um, Damn. But after I moved to Georgia, with my son, mama, that didn't work out, mm. you know. Why? Man, I don't, like. He want the juice, okay. why? Okay, I came home and I wanted to be a better man. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, I was, and, and then to again, I'm on the run. So I, I'm laying mm. low, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I want to be a house, you know. I'm working and shit at the same time, but I want to lay back. I want to yeah. chill. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I want to be, I think she wanted that drug. You know Damn, she wanted what the life you was kind of chill right, out from. Right. She was but, on that BMF, boy. But she didn't even want me to do it in the beginning. So what made her, you know, switch to? Man, them, hey, them duckies started to duck. I swear them quackers was quacking. <laughs> I swear to God. Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Bro, I swear I can't make this up. That quack was quacking. <laughs> that <laughs> quack was quacking. Hell no. Nah. So, so now... We we split. Okay. Got to go separate ways. I took my son and moved to, I moved back to Louisiana. My mama made me feel like I wasn't welcome. With she, the son? My own oh God. She was charging me to watch that man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, grandma got to get paid too. Man, listen, grandma got to get paid too, but dang, I'm going to be a better grandparent when my child has children. <laughs> Like, I want, bro, that's, that's what supposed to be for free. We family, <laughs> gang. <laughs> we family. I'm supposed to just give you groceries. <laughs> right. She said, no, I need more. Right. The $50 a week, talking about she, that's, at least I'm not, they can charge a hundred and something dollars so a week. So she going to do half the price. <laughs> that's a family discount. Yeah, that's a fair discount right there. So, <laughs> now, I call one of my little partners. A person I would game with on PlayStation, but he cool though. You know what I'm saying? Little Muddy Water, that was his name. You know what I'm saying? Muddy Water. Yes, Lord. Shout out, water. My, shout out Fresh Two Fresh TV. Hey, yes, Lord. I got okay. So I do that. He's a Twitch streamer. Y'all make sure y'all go tap. Shout in. out. So, um, at the end of the day, my partner come and pick me up, and we moved to St. Louis. 
Okay. Dang. Now you went from Louisiana to uh, Atlanta mm -hmm. to Shucktown. You know what I'm saying? You right. in Chicago. Right. Okay. Now. It's a big move right there. But let me tell you something about Atlanta. When I first went out there, before I waited on my family to come get me because I was downtown Atlanta and I went to McDonald's, I had to wait out there like four hours. And as soon as I got off the Greyhound bus, I'm standing out there. My family was telling me to stay in the Greyhound station. Stay in the Greyhound station. Don't go just outside. <laughs> but I had a little Zaza. You had to go get one. I, I ain't gonna lie, that Greyhound is a lot to take in. Bro, come on, especially man. when you get to Shreveport and you gotta wait. I be, I'm like you. I'm like, hey, I'm getting my stuff. I'm going bro. to gonna get a little blow. Hey, bro, I'm right. going to get back on this Greyhound. Like, right. Right. ain't no lot of gagging around. Feel <laughs> me? Like, yo, they know y'all not from here. Get y'all ass on the bus. Right, right. For real. So, so now, a dude jump out the car. He look like his mouth wired shut, but he got like a big AK. <sighs> And he's just doing this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm being, I'm, I'm so for real, though. And Ow. all I can remember thinking was, I pray I don't look like the dude he looking for. Like, me, you like, oh, shit, it's you so saw easily it. to be mistaken. No, for and real. accidentally pop. No, for real. Especially right now. Right. Damn. But he didn't see who he was looking for. He got in, he left, and I got out. From outside and went back in the ground. <laughs> Mama told your ass to go back in the inside. Mm -hmm. So now we in St. Louis. Um, my partner, he cool too, though. You know what I'm saying? He showed me nothing but love. But he was, you know what I'm saying, traveling. Yeah. From Colorado to. Okay, so he's moving. But he was, yeah, he was plugging Missouri. Yeah. But I never went with him. Okay. Shit, but I saw him a couple of duckers pick okay. me up a couple moon rocks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like, a little movement. I got you. Right. So on this one, this one weekend, he wanted me to go with him. Oh shit! Now keep in mind, I got my son. Yeah, you know I'm saying I was just about to ask that with, with a little boy, with a kiddo. Right. So I'm like, no. I'm like, bro, if we get it's popped, I'm man. like, bro, if we get popped, He's you going. got people here to watch your daughter. Yeah. I don't have nobody out here. It's just me and him. I got to thank for him. So yeah, and it's done after that. So he went by himself and he got popped. Damn, like gone? Like, he was locked up in Missouri. Damn, I mean, locked bro. locked up in Kansas. Damn, they caught his They dad. caught him in Kansas. So, I'm like. Damn, you see, you yeah, that was a blessing. You dodged that one. I dodged it. Hey. So he make the call home, tell everybody he want everybody out the house. Okay. He mad at me because I ain't Because you ain't go. So now look kind of suspicious. He said the police pulled him over because the car kind of swerved. He driving. He was asleep. <laughs> sleep in it. Those and all. Whatever. Should have took a nap. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Quit trying to get on the road. You knew you had to be working in the morning. That ain't my fault. You should have right. been a more respectable parent like the fuck I was. Right. So <laughs> I just, I told one of my coworkers at Sonic about it. Because like, I was working at Sonic out there. And he was like, man, come on over here. So I'm like, man, this shit getting you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still like, going from place to place. I feel like a rolling stone. <laughs> I can't sit in one spot. Oh, shit. Oh lay your hat. That's where so, you lay your own. So, so now, um, I live with him. They come and tell me that the landlord basically, you know what I'm saying? She been hating. Yeah. She peeping that you was there. And yeah. Now she want to tell you what to do. Right, no, nah, I ain't telling me what to do. It was like, look, he can't because of the, yeah. Ah, so, right. Hater. Right. Hey, niggas are trying to get a pet stay. So. Hey, hey. So now, um, my daughter called me. Okay. Oh, so she got a son with you and you got a daughter too. Back in Louisiana. Okay. And she called him. She was like, daddy, this new app out. It's called TikTok. You know. Get on it with me. I'm like, nah, I'm dealing with real life problems. Right, because you like, in it. I'm dealing with real life shit. Real life shit. So, um. Because your boy still think you did it. He think, he think it's your fault. Right. So, she got mad at me. We stopped talking. Oh. She called me about like two months later. How old is she? Was she at the time? Well, 11. 11. At the time. Okay. So, she called me back like two months later. And she was like, Daddy, you don't want to bond with me? Ah, uh, she hit you with the, uh. I said, I said ooh. Nah, fast. Kids do that shit. But it 
hit home, you know, so I was like, what the app is? Dope, and I downloaded it. Gotta she do was, it for the baby. Yeah, she was giving me the little knickknacks and showing me how to do shit. Okay. You feel me? I'm like, ooh, shit, okay. Okay. So if I do this. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, hey. Okay. <laughs> it go like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was over so, there getting it. Yeah, but I'm in Missouri and she in Louisiana. Okay. But she teaching me over the phone. She mess around and get to talking to a grown man on, on the, the app. Oh, shit. No. Man, her mama found out, grounded her. I got like 500 followers at this time. Okay. We just started. Back, back then, my name on TikTok was YSA Boot. Young Savage Ass. Young Savage Ass. And I'm from the boot. Yeah, I'm just what I said. Right. It matches. You must feel right. me? Right. So, I'm from Louisiana. So From that muddy water, boy. So, I'm sitting back and I'm like, what I'm going to do for me? What 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 I'm going to do? Yeah. And I'm like, man, I tried rapping. I don't, I don't know. But my my family always told me I was funny. Yeah. Okay, so you're trying to figure out where, where your purpose man, is. what my purpose is. So bet, I go, bet. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to just get this comedy shit a try. You feel me? No later than six months, bro. My daughter was grounded for like six months. God and, damn. And she when, was almost a year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> she going to do that shit no but, more. But it wasn't, it wasn't grounded. It never took from her what she was doing. It just snatched social media. Yeah, I got you. Need to make sure she know the safety right. of it. Okay, right. got you, got you. So when she got back on being able to get on social media, by this time I had like 200,000 followers. Damn. And she was like. 500 to 200,000. Right. So I'm like, she like, she don't even know me to this day now. I always tell her she was my inspiration for it because she be like, when I told her I got 200,000, she was like. You believe now she believed me because she saw it, but she was like, "I bet you can't get five hundred. Oh no, now I can't. The challenge. She like, "All right, that's." I said, man, she said, I like, said, "Well, nothing. I can't even get that much." You I, feel me? I said, "Bet." <laughs> Boom. We talking the whole time through it, but as soon as I hit that five hundred, I call that day. I don't care if we just talked thirty minutes ago. If so I hit that five hundred, like, hey, I'm hey, calling hey. back. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so she like. After I hit the 500, she like, I bet you can't hit 800. Oh, uh, now she really just challenged you now. I feel like she knew you was going to do it, though. But I kept breaking them, and I kept breaking them, and I broke, but when I hit 1 million, I called her. And she was like, Damn. oh, this is what she hit me with. She said, okay, you, I'm thinking like her. She like, okay, you broke all my little goals. Man. Yeah. She said, I bet you ain't got more followers than Charlie Dominio. Why she do that? Damn. Man, I went and looked up Charlie Domenio. This girl got like a hundred and something million. How you, did, did you know how you was gonna get to that point? Cause you gotta tell, you gotta give some little sauce on how we even got past the five hundred followers, bro. Listen, we got people stuck in two hundred. So look, when you go viral, this is what a lot of people don't be understanding. If you see your views even spike, yeah, yeah, from a video from your previous video. Grab that video, retwist that bitch, remake that bitch, come on back right with a new, because that's your niche. You mm -hmm. my way, boom, you boom, you remix it, boom, that's your niche. That's why you have so many creators that's big, because a lot of, and the people that fail, is just trying different shit, different shit, different shit. So they trying different ways to pop, but it's but one that never, already popped. That you ain't never looked at. A lot of people want to say, oh, I went viral, I went viral, and pin their mm. most viral video up there. Facts. But... Me. I'm never, <laughs> but never continue what originated your viral video. So, for example, if the originated viral video was me dancing or someone dancing with their child, right? right. Or like you said, you and your child's bonding, right. and that's how you first got the the, right. the followers to go crazy. Right. All right, that's what you want to keep doing with the views, but you want to just remix it and then do it again. Right. You if if, if it was fun, come that same way a different way. If that makes any sense. Okay, yeah. Just like you did. Hey. And it became Good. a brand. Yeah, no, for real. Because after uh, every video, you started with that. Now right. that's who you are, you know. Then okay. people going to say that shit when they see you. You know what I'm saying? Right. I did. But as we know, when you hit a million followers, that's when the drama comes. Uh, yeah, somebody trolling and the bullshit and people hating, the people you do know, people you don't know. I ain't hit a million followers yet. I'm just, you know, this is my pregame. So you got to really... 
Tell us what was the bullshit. What we gotta really look at is people go take your advice and say, man, I'm gonna hit that meal just like A.O. would. What they gotta look forward to? So, like I tell them, <laughs> make sure this is what the fuck you want, because I promise you. Let me tell everybody in here, at 900,000 followers, I was in Las Vegas at the world's biggest TikTok convention. Damn. They, so you, first of all, stop. You said TikTok convention. Mm-hmm. I wonder how many people know TikTok has a fucking convention. That threw me. Yeah, I was on the guest list. God damn. Oh, okay, shit. I was VIP at Safari Strip Club, god damn it. It's like that boy was at the Essence Fest, you know what I'm saying? I had that. I was pl- they were plotting on robbing me. Somebody was plotting. Two dudes that were from Vegas was plotting on robbing me in the strip club that I had to be walked out by security because it got leaked by something or something. No, you about to blow. You out here being Tupac in the modern day. <laughs> <laughs> they about to show ignite him, bro. bro what the come fuck? On. Like, you feel me? So... I'm like, but the whole time they stayed feeding me drinks. So hold on, let me back up. So let me back up. Okay. Um, I was dating somebody. Okay. Okay. When I hit like eight hundred thousand. All right. And you know we were really vibing. You know what I'm saying? Within the month, I hit like nine hundred thousand. We getting close. And I took her to Vegas with me. Mm. I can't say her name because I'm still on a gag order. You feel me? Not a gag order, Lord. Yeah, and it's real, for real, for God, real. God but, damn it, bro. But I took her to Vegas with me. You know, we stayed at the MGM. You feel me? Um, I ain't going to say no creative name. But, girl, you were so wrong for trying to. Be while your dude was there. No! Yeah, and then I had, my name was on the table at the strip club with her and her husband and, and another dude, and I'm sitting at the table, I'm like, whoo, Lord, Jesus. Hey, uh, bro, man. I'm looking at them, I'm like, hey, bro, oh my goodness. That girl right there, he was like, yeah, I my care, wife. bro. He was like, yeah, my wife. I said, that girl fine. He like, yeah, that's my wife. Ooh. Ooh, cause the next thing about to come out of my wife, my mouth was, I'm gonna fuck her tonight. <laughs> I swear to God. So he ain't had no idea she out here. Man, you know what I'm saying? Oopty, alley, motherfuckers. Man, like, she licked all up my neck and shit. I was like, I was like, girl, you gonna let me get that? She was like, maybe. I was like, ooh, I ain't gonna push the maybe, baby. Baby. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck around there some shit. <laughs> but so, so now. Hell no. Nah. So now. Gotta get beat the fuck up with him. <laughs> I'm staying in this. We I stayed one night at the MGM. Okay. Now this one the bullshit came. I stayed one night at the MGM, and during that night at the MGM, you know, do something on the balcony. You know, where was her band? Mm. Did the same shorty? Yeah. Where is her dude? Hold on, hold on. Now this the girl that I came with. Oh, okay. okay. Do me love. I thought she yeah, up there, yeah. dunk that shit. But but on my mom, I was trying to shake her though. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We in Vegas. I was just telling her, dude. Wow, well, shit in Vegas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pop off, like you know what I'm saying. If you mistake her, and go home with you somebody. Know. <laughs> you know, I won't be mad. <laughs> what happens in Vegas stays, stays in motherfucking Vegas. Vegas you feel so, me? Oh, cause I'm like, fuck no. Nah. I'm not saying that's me though, but I was like, we we new in, we like two months in, we dating. Oh, this is fresh shit. Right, this fresh, you know what I'm saying? But I like okay. her, you know okay. what I'm saying? But we get back to uh, McKinney, Texas. That's where I'm living at. Okay. Now McKinney, hold on, Texas. keep in mind, um, my first viral video was from when I stayed in Ohio. It was during December because I remember it was snowing, snowing. I can't deal no snow. Bro, I was dating a girl. She was like, they wanted to throw something. Like pounds? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, you know, they say the scared of the niggas like, like, like them thick, bro. You, you know, my name Mike, big and tall. I fuck them out. <laughs> they got a whole slogan. They can be fat, but when they lay back, it go flat. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> what the fuck? 
Big as the love too, bro. Big as the love too, bro. So. All right, she 400. When I hit my first viral video, I had like 3,000 people in my live. But I had this one girl hit me up in San Antonio. This is how I ended up in Texas. Okay. One girl hit me up in San Antonio. She was like, I'm going to pay for your flight. Not to pay. So I'm like, what you talking about? I'm like, no, you ain't going to pay for no flight. Have me stranded in Texas. Hell no. <laughs> oh, for some reason, she just kept trying to convince me, convince me, convince me. I took her up on her offer. Okay. Because I had got locked out of my iPhone. Because mm. I reset my password the night before. Yeah. And I forgot what I reset it to, and I couldn't get in my phone, period. And I kept trying it so many times that it completely locked me out. Yeah. So I'm in AT&T trying to um, get my <laughs> phone reset. She she how about the car. She, she finding girls in AT&T trying hey. to follow me on TikTok and everything. She how about she the car. She how about the car. Fucking up the rotation. Man. Fucking up the. So. <laughs> fucking it up. So I'm like, all right, so I, fl- I flew to Texas. Now, you said you wanted to know the good, the bad. I want the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Okay. So we flew to Texas. She did meet me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But she told me pre-warning that she didn't, like, she single because guys keep leaving because she squirt too much. Wait, wait, wait. This the, this the one that's 400? Mm-mm. This the I'm girl that flew her. you out? Oh, you, okay, yes. okay. So guys leave her. Because she's a squirter and, and she squirt too, too much. Right. How the fuck you squirt too much? Right. And I, I said the same thing. I said, them niggas must be funny. They. I, and then I got there and it wasn't that she squirted too much. It was that she be aiming that shit. Bro, I swear to God. What the fuck? Bro, I swear she to God. She shooting that shit? Bro, on my mama. She shooting that shit. She drive my eye socket out one day, nigga. She just aimed for your eye. Bro. With the coochie, with the. What the fuck? Bro. And then and then it was and then it was like this. It was like this. She had some spider fucking webs. Like, what the I'm fuck? like, I'm like Peter Parker in this bitch with now, the pussy. What the The first three times, I'm like, man, she gots to be pissing on me, dude. Feel me? But when she drive my eye socket out, so she worked for JP Morgan. Oh, you gotta oh, she's a JP. She, oh, you gotta watch it. They but she, freaky. I don't but know. this was during COVID though. Oh, shit. So she was at home on the computer. Okay. While she busy, I'm moving my shit out. <laughs> I, I got to go. I see why they leaving you. <laughs> and I'm tired of laying in a wet spot. Every day. Every night. It got to the point that I had to tell her motherfucking, that, hey, hey, <laughs> let's have sex on your side. <laughs> Wait, she could have just put it in the wash. You ran man, out of sheets, huh? Man, what you mean, bro? I just told you it was like, whoosh. It was the so bed. She, she was dead ass serious. She was dead ass serious. And I moved out. <laughs> you added to the fucking list of niggas. Bro. That leaves her because she squirted too much. She squirted too much. She flew you out, dog. She squirted too much. She squirted too much. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, she, she can aim that shit. That's a new level. Bro, That's a new fucking level. I watched you can her. shoot. I watched her. How the fuck you just? <laughs> how the fuck you? We got just, to the point we started having sex in the shower all the time. <laughs> like, like, like some mermaids, bro. I'm like, can't nobody piss that damn much, bro. <laughs> bro, she had to be dehydrated as fuck. She had to be dry, dehydrated all so the time. I moved. Need some Gatorade. So I moved with a, uh, my cousin. He's a police officer. In Dallas. <coughs> All right. So I'm, I'm out there. Fuck it no. You know, I'm famous for the Selman Lemon, and somebody pulled a gun on me at the Selman Lemon. How ironic is that? Did you did you say Selman Lemon? Bro, I almost, bo- I, I was born and I almost <laughs> lost my life, bro. Right there. <laughs> what the fuck? That's some ironic ass shit. I swear, if if my cousin wasn't a police officer and was there with me, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? She just showed a badge, but it was the, you know what I'm saying? Did he know who you were? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> but <laughs> He's stupid for that shit. Man. Fuck. And then, like I say, it was a lot that came with it. So when we made it back to Dallas, anyway, we made it back to Dallas. Um, 
after we left, um, made it back from Las Vegas. Yeah. And um, her, man, she had the most disrespectful kids I have ever. That's why I did not want to be with her, bro. Like, when we made it back. This is the same person that squirted her. Her 14 year old was pregnant, bro. No, we, no. I'm just, I had bagged you up, man. Remember, I bagged you up. So oh, yeah, now, you moved the fuck out. Yeah. You got on down. I was just got showing you, you how you. I landed yeah, in yeah, Dallas. Yeah, yeah, you, you got on me? out of that one. Right. So now I'm back in the Las Vegas situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get back, and her 14 year old that was pregnant, she was like, oh. Damn. Like, mom, where the fuck have you been? Oh, hell, wait, that's, that's, that's how they were talking to each other? Scared the I fuck out of me, too. Like, wait, hold up, mom. Look, look, I promise, right here in the guard, I gave her $300, and I said, go take your kids out and go do something with them. Because we were supposed to be gone for three days, but we ended up staying gone a week. Yeah. You feel me? We were sightseeing, making TikToks <laughs> all the way and shit. So, um, she left. And I called up another TikToker called, his name Tadit. Um, Tadit. Country Tadit, something like that. Okay. Country Tadit. Some Tadit Walter. That's his name. Tadit Walter. And, um, <laughs> and I said, man, look, you in Dallas. I mean, you in Texas, huh? He was like, yeah. I was like, how far you are from McKinney? He was like, about 45 minutes, I say, That's I'll pay you $400 to drive me to Houston. That's a good little check for for the day. Right. $400 just to drive you to Houston? Right, because I need you to drop everything what you're doing. <laughs> Got you. I don't want to be I, here when she get back. <laughs> that was my biggest fear. Like, I don't be, I'm over this shit now, but back then, I was always scared of confronting Telling the person how I feel. So you'd rather just leave while they're gone. Right. Then have to have that little awkward conversation and stuff. Right. Is so, it? So now I'm tripping. I was I like, leave. you can go back. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping, bro. <laughs> I leave and go to Houston, but she calling me. She calling me. I'm just ignoring her calling. Because you dip the fuck me. out like a, right. a thief in the night. Right. Look, I, we, I bought us all matching shoes. Like, we had all my, man, because when she came home, it was just hers. <laughs> No heels. It was just hers. Like, me? And I bought them. It was just hers. At least you let her keep the shoe. So now um, I get a call from a detective three oh, days indeed. later okay. saying what happened about this incident. He was talking about um, hitting. Her? The, yeah. Like punch? Like, like not guys out? Like At this time, that's what I'm thinking. So um, I'm like, bro, I don't know what you talking about. You can really get out of my phone. I'm thinking it's a prank. Yeah. Because I'm going back and forth. I'm really taunting they motherfucking ass. You yeah. feel me? I'm like, man, get out of my phone. Y'all been trolling me forever. Cause stop, get off my Yeah, because at this point, everybody should know who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm like, stop trolling me because some people that knew my number leaked my number. Gotcha. Goddamn. You, so. you said when you get to that, that, that high, right. more shit happened. Right. So Damn. She called a TikToker that I wasn't cool with no more. I started out doing content with her, and I stopped doing content with her because she wasn't popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was bringing my content value now. Damn. Like, you, told her, she, you need to go practice. Go practice. Like, I told her. I said, that's what I told her. I was, like, being a better friend. I was like, look, you, your content needs some more work. Like, you need to establish yourself a little more before you, mm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I tried it. Our videos were doing like 10,000 likes, uh, 20,000 mm. likes, but for me, that's low. My that's shit, low. I just had a video do 12 million likes. You I know mean, how many right, views real. that is? I, I'm imagining because I got to get to <laughs> He go, <laughs> hey, I was just being honest, but Hey, I'm prepared now since you here. You done told me all the bullshit that gonna come down. Right. It's a lot. So I'm like, the detective come through. At the end of the day, um, they tell me to go down there and meet. I go down there. I don't want to, like, I'm like, they showing me pictures of some bruises and shit. 
I'm like, bro, I ain't never seen none of this shit. Shorty went in there and said, pow! <laughs> like, she went in there, went to bang her heads against the wall, the canvas and shit, bro, told the kids to hit her. I ain't never seen none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I tell them, I ain't seen nothing. They let me go back to Houston. All right. So they was like, you know, I ain't know in Texas you got to wait a while to be indicted. Oh, you so, do? So, yeah, like, you got up to 90 days to get indicted. So they, you know what I'm saying, they let me go. A grand jury got indicted. So... Um, come to say they indicted me. And I'm like, the fuck? Bro, I ain't touched this fucking girl. Bonds was both of them said that. They, how, did they, how did they come up with that you did it? Because you dipped the fuck out on her. Bro. And so, like a thief in the night. So what? And then the crazy part about it is they don't go into the case and actually look at the facts until maybe a week before trial. The fuck? You already sent your ass to jail at that point? Because I turned myself yeah, in. Yeah, okay, okay. And I paid three thousand dollars on the two I mean the two fifteen thousand dollar bonds. I bonded out. They gave me an ankle mount. Okay. The judge knew what address I gave them. I was staying in Ohio. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. So I left to go back to Ohio with the ankle monitor. Like six months later, me not getting into no trouble, no nothing. I got a warrant out for my arrest. What the fuck? Back in Texas. Saying that I flee, but I count a plane every every time they set a court date. I was, I was on the, I was on the plane every time. I hired a lawyer every time. Now when I went, when <laughs> this is my bond conditions, okay. Okay. This is why I told y'all behind the scenes that this woman had some power because um, impeding breath was one of the charges, and. Domestic violence with a deadly weapon, something like that, was another one of the charges. What the fuck is an impeding? Uh, they was trying to say I choked her. You probably need the fuck to be choked. Like mm, the listen, <laughs> listen. I'm telling you. So, I hate to tell you this, but in today's <laughs> time, a woman put their hands on me, your ass going to jail. You found in charge of her hand. Bro, you're going to jail. <laughs> I'm suing. For the rest you're of going, my fucking yeah. life, if you I, hit I hate me. to say it, but before I land back in jail, you're going to jail. And I'm going to do what I want to do, feel how I want to feel. You're not going to touch me. Stand you're up not going to put your man. hands on me. You're not going to. Every time you look like you want to get violent, bitch, I'm whipping out a phone. Hell no. Nah. Hey, I got him on speed out, bitch. On God. <laughs> on God. On God. If you, you want to have a happy life, let's have a happy life. Why do? But why do they but, happen like that? Like, why they hit men and then think that men... I mean, my always told me, you hit, you got to get your leg back. And you can't tell nobody how hard to hit you back. But we never even went through this. I know. She cuckoo. She made that shit up. We know this. You <laughs> feel me? So, I'm like, oh, but, man. That shit just so crazy to me, bro. Because this is my bond condition. Why they slapping the ankle model on my ankle. Um, my bond condition, they reading it out to me while they putting the ankle model on me. So I go, um, not to access any active or running social media account. Damn. First of all, that one alone was personal. It was very personal. I don't even know the laws, but that's what very does personal. My social media Wait. have to do with these cases. Time out. There's fucking prisoners on TikTok and social media. Right. What the, what that got to do? Right. It don't make no damn sense. So that's that's my question. What does my charges that I had she knew somebody have to do with that? The she knew second the one. The second one. She knew somebody in the courthouse, and I think her and the DA went to school together because this was my this was my trial date. The fuck, bro. Look, I had to fire my last lawyer and hire a new lawyer because my last lawyer, first of all, I didn't trust her. She only came and saw me one time a year. Wow. And when she came and saw me, she told me that they offered me 20 years, and that's the best deal she can do. So as my lawyer, (laughs) he told me you came your ass all the way out here to tell me that shit? That's what she told me. I think I would have got a different lawyer, too. So I wrote like, up. Like, get your black ass, boy. But I just ain't fire up because you can't just fire the judge. A lot of people think that you can just say, <laughs> you're fired. You just can't tell a lawyer you're fired. You got to go in front of a judge, and you got to be, that, that law. you got to have good reason to remove that lawyer that the court has appointed to you or 
the one you hired. Oh, damn. So you got to prove a case why you want a different lawyer. And I know for a fact that it's in like that in a criminal defense. Okay. Damn. Damn. You see what I'm saying? So. No, you just pay him off like Tyreek did. You no, know? I did it like this. This is what I did. I put my mind to work and I wrote her up to the Bar Association. And she recused herself. She put in a motion to withdraw from my case, which mm-hmm. automatically gave me a new lawyer. Okay. That was good, smart. That was smart thinking right there. I mean, you had to do some work. You made a smart now, thinking. that new lawyer, McDaniel Law Office, man. What up, man? Shout out to McDaniel Law the Office. The reason why my boy free over here. Right. So he come through like three times a week, four times a week, and he just became my lawyer. Okay. I tell my last lawyer, do you see, I, I sent a, a massive file of a bunch of videos of nothing of us being on podcasts, going to Las Vegas, and we've only been together two months, and we did, like, three podcast nights a week. You see oh, what I'm saying? Oh, Yeah, yeah. And they was video and audio. So okay. where did you have this time? Because your report said that she said that this has been going on, the two months that we've been together. So where is it in time? And my shit had time stamp. Yeah. We both Damn. got iPhones. Right. And we are now in a modern day of technology. If, and you got, you, we both got an iPhone. If your picture don't have a timestamp on that bitch, you did something to that. No facts. Because it's going to tell you when, it, when you did the picture. Right. So you did something to that. Now, she said that I had, she was just trying to throw me away because she didn't want to see me with nobody else. Jealous. Or see me succeed. I mean, so. you did, you did like, no, did about on her own thing, you know. Right. And I understand it. You know what I'm saying? And shit, karma kicked my ass in the ass so hard, I swear to God. So now that's the reason why I just tell a woman how I feel. Because I felt like if I'd have just told her how I felt. Yeah, it wouldn't been that hard. If I just told her I couldn't do it, your cooch stank. You know what I'm saying? Like, um I don't know. Like we <laughs> both act like we can't smell it. Like I had to act like some way hint, like baby, let me run you a bubble bath. Yo, she can shit nah. and soak, and that's yeah. what I want you to do. Soak, like. So you're trying to be a gentleman. You're like, I'm just gonna take that the easy way out. Bro. So we had this hard conversation. Bro, let about me tell you something. Coach. Time out. When a person, when you go try to go down there and lick that know. thing, and she be like, "Hold on, let me put some plastic wrap down there." What the fuck? Like, that work? I don't know. Th- this before the panties and the pants came down. Bro, listen. I had to leave. I had to find a way to leave. Bro, I would have look. I would have. I wish a genie on her ass. Like, no, I had, I had to find a way to leave. I had to. It was just when I'm on when I was on <laughs> top of her and they came down, bro. The smell was so horrible. Like it, it, it felt like heat. The fuck you had that Texas heat, <laughs> bro? No, that's that Louisiana hot sauce, <laughs> Red Bull. You feel me? Like, so I'm just like, yeah, what? Yo, so plastic now. wrap. She knew her shit's thing. What female gonna be like, really looking at you up and be like, you gotta put some plastic wrap on it? What the fuck? That ain't sexy. Bitch, you must don't want my jaw to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> She got the Lyme disease on there, bro. What the fuck, man? That shit, wow. Hell no. Nah. I think somebody tell me that shit. I'm gone. I'm not. I'm not right. gonna give you no. Know, I'm like you. I I probably would have walked the fuck out too. So, you want me to be the one to tell you that shit? So, um, this was my trial day, Valentine's Day. Domestic okay. violence charge on Valentine's That's Day. That's cute. I had a female judge, a female DA, and a female lawyer. He was bound to go now. Was bro, you think that man I'm woman bro, haters in there. <laughs> bro, you, you know think, what I'm bro, do you think that I'm really about to go down that rabbit hole like that? No, ma'am. No. I looked her dead in her face. When, she, when I'm sitting right here, <laughs> she's, look, I'm sitting right here. She's sitting right here. She slided over here aggressively. They said, <laughs> look. She telling the judge, she got mad. She was like, he wrote me up to the bar association. I thought to myself, hold on, I thought that she was supposed to remain confidential. How the fuck she knew I wrote up? Right. Bar association leaking information and shit. Damn, she somebody. Right, so 
<laughs> I'm like, okay. Ew. And my, the judge asked me, is there anything I want to say? Do I object to this? I say, no, Your Honor. This is the first motion she has and put in in two years. <laughs> she just did me a favor. Because I was finna go to TDC. <laughs> That's where she wanted me to go. What the fuck? She told me my videos didn't matter. My new lawyer told me they did. My new lawyer told me, he came and saw me three days. On the third day, this is what he did in two weeks. A uh, day before trial. No, two days before trial, he yeah. told me. He came and saw, he got his son, his son to come see me. And his son said, they want to go to, they want to bring you into court tomorrow. Okay. He's like, man, <laughs> you think they just going to put you on an ankle monitor just to keep y'all separated? You and the girl. Because okay. she made a new claim two years later, a month before trial, saying that I broke her eye socket in Las Vegas. This is on record. Bro, this is on record. No shit. But what she didn't know, you, you, she's so blind, she's so crazy that she didn't know. You feel me? My lawyer... And the DA subpoena Baylor and Scott medical records because that ain't something you cannot just say happened, yeah, bro. Yeah, you gotta go. You, you, gotta said, go. you said you went to the hospital and then you got checked. They gotta go pull those. They records. They gonna pull those records and you wasn't there. You wasn't there. You didn't. Bruh, you didn't. I'm over it. Like, but my thing is, two years of my life and my name has been drugged through the fucking mud. And don't nobody and listen. To take your damn social media from me. And the crazy part is, people. Care when they think that they can point their finger at you. Yeah. But when you beat it and overcome, they act like they don't care no more. The biggest accomplishment was that I was innocent. Right. But damn, that shit's wild, bro. Hey, I think you were, I think it wasn't that you left her. It was that she did. You go tell everybody <laughs> how cool she is. <laughs> and hey. she didn't want to get out. Hey. That's why she got people in high power because everybody know. Her coochie thing. So she like, I pulled some strings so they couldn't talk. So everybody couldn't talk against her. Right. <laughs> That's, listen, listen. And, so, and it's crazy. The fuck? Because it, the ankle monitor comes off when, when she died. So he died. Wait, wait. Wait, it's the one that you told me earlier that had stage four cancer? Right. What the fuck? She had all the time do that shit. She did all that shit. She didn't see. Bro, and you know what's crazy? Cut. Look, Ooh. you know, you know what's crazy. What? This is the crazy part. She was telling me to marry her because she probably only got like six months to live. You been living for three years. <laughs> she got a new, a longer span in life, and she spent it. Terrorizing your ass. If I knew you had been living for three years, I probably would have married you. God damn it, I thought you were going to be dead around the corner. No, you gave her the strength to keep going. She was after your ass. She wanted to make sure when she was gone, you you was no more on social media. Yeah. What you do? You tap her back, funky. See, you shouldn't have did it. You shouldn't have did it. Listen, I made my mistakes. <laughs> I made my mistakes. You feel me? I didn't, and and America, <laughs> and America. I want y'all to know, I am a changed man, a changed man, y'all. And I did not have sexual relations with that woman. <laughs> Damn, she you died, bro. So, so she, she, she popped, she popped her shit. At the she end of the did. day, she popped her shit. Damn. That was a roller coaster ride. All yeah. right, man. So you all right, so she did all that. And you still didn't lose the social media. Did you have you said you started over multiple times? Did you right. have to start over there too? Right. The account that I got, I just created that account like five months ago. Did something happen? So somebody else was out to your ass too, huh? No. Oh, it's okay. just the old haters be still hating, baby. Got you. Like, yeah, you make room for some new people to come in. But if you ain't hating, you ain't doing shit. You're right. You're right. If you ain't got nobody hating, then you ain't popping your shit. Why? Why? Like, 
hate on me. Feel free. I love being me. I'm going to do that. And if y'all don't like my country song, fuck you. Hey, I'll fuck with that country song, bro. He had me laughing. How we come up? Before we get to that, because that's the song that's featured for Art of the Week. Uh, shout out to the Antonio Narega, bro. Three big studios. Y'all, y'all killed that. But how did you come up with, hey, hood, like, <laughs> So I'm allowed my, I ain't got, you know what I'm saying? How you, where did that come from? Through all this bullshit that you was going through. All right, so look, you ever heard of this girl named Whoa Vicky? Oh. And what? I be here. Sorry. I'm sorry. I told you I ain't, I'm not down on TikTok. I'm down on other places. I, I told you that. I got to get the. All right, all right. We well, going to work on it. We going to well, work on it. She she crazy. She do crazy shit on, on, and on TikTok. Right. So wild, she, wild shit. Right. So okay. What's her name? I'm a... Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. I'm going to look it up. Me. Shout out, Whoa, Vicky. Y'all Shout out. I don't know who you are me. yet, but I'm going to check you out. But she got like 10 million followers, 9 okay. million followers on TikTok. But okay. back then, she probably had like 2 million, and I probably had like 200,000. And uh, I, by the time I hit 1.5 million, she had like 8 million because... A lot of the people ran to see her content because of me. Oh, uh, all right. If I make a video about you or anybody, like if I did a video about Wo Vicky or I use one of Wo Vicky videos and I yeah. go to her video three days later, you'll see number the comments about me just, you know what I'm saying? So people you over there on her page, flooding her page. Right. I'm but she got the followers. Right. I did too. Yeah. I accumulated from it too. Yeah. You feel me? And she started biting on the Selma Lelma a little harder too. Got you. So, Was she using the phrase? Right. Got so you. she originally, like, she from Georgia. So one day I was living in Ohio and I was like, I saw the video on my FYP and I'm like, what the fuck? Her video? Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. And she had said something like, Click the link oh. in my bio. Get you a free iPhone Quail. What? And I was like, what the fuck? So I'm like, I'm outside, and I'm like, man, I want to go just walk down the street. But it's snowing high as hell. In yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't be walking Ohio. down the street. Hell no. Nah. So I'm like, damn, I need one of these videos to go viral. You know what I'm saying? I just need in somebody to interact with. If I just get somebody to interact with, it, everything will be all right. Yeah. Damn. If you watch the first video, I swear to God, you can see fog coming out of my mouth. You feel me? Because so it's cold like, as fuck outside. Right, because I'm like, fuck it, all right. So what I'm going to do? Fuck it. I'm going to just walk out and act like I'm talking to somebody on the porch. Fuck it, they don't want to come to me. I come to them. <laughs> yeah, I go to them, all right. Right, right. So I walk out on the porch. Hey, hood, y'all ever heard of an iPhone quail? <laughs> no? And that's the one oh. uh, Tony just showed me. I was like, what the fuck? So, so that that video, I went to sleep, woke up, that video was viral. Um, I was reading my comments. That's another okay. thing you got to do too, because back then, I don't know if they still do it now, but back then, uh, people tell you like what content they want to see from you next. You feel me? Yeah. Sometimes your comments is your next video. Mm. So whatever you ain't got no goddamn comment. Then you got to work at getting to know, get, letting people know who you is. Okay, so being consistent with the shit. Right. Okay, got you. Right. It just, you know what I'm saying, building up a watch time. You got to build up a watch time. Watch time. Watch yeah, time. the watch time, even on TikTok, YouTube, and even on the Reels or uh, uh, Instagram, it's important. Right. So I get to the point to where I'm reading the comments and people like, man, you better be on Better be on episode ninety nine by Christmas. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm like, fuck it. So I go to her page, bro. When I tell you, I was like, I was on her ass, bro. She won the video. My next viral video after that, she was walking in an all pink latex. You feel me? Latex one piece. You know what I'm saying? And it looked like it was shiny as fuck. She had a shiny leg. With some pink heels on, and she was barely walking, bro. And she was walking to the song. Buss it. Buss it. Yeah. Buss it. So my video come on right behind it. I done hold up a Pepto Bill and everybody. Hell no, I was just about to Bus. say that. <laughs> you feel me? So, Look you like know. a whole stomach ain't the fuck. Right. So 
So at the end of the day, I just took off from them. So you just peeping what she putting out. Right. And you making that shit funny with the twist because you, you funny right. in your way. And then people throwing the comments in there telling you what's, what's the next thing they want you to see you right. do. Okay. Damn, yeah. you putting us on game. I hope y'all paying attention. That's some real game because I'm, I'm using the shelves, you know. Right. I'm going to get my game up. I'm telling you, bro. I'm going to hit 100,000 on TikTok right now. Y'all Dang. make sure And this is the get... new account, right? Right. This is my new account. All right, shout out to new accounts. If the, if, I know you, they know here, but if they don't know right here, you know what I'm saying? Shout it out, let them know. Y'all already know. Y'all can go follow me. Hey, 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 country. Hey. <laughs> go follow me, man. Y'all know what it is, man. A country official and a hood on all platforms. All platforms. Go follow the man, bro. This this some tea ain't gonna lie. When you said you want the bad, the the good. The ugly, I knew it was some tea, but damn, I ain't know. I had to go get some more tea. It was like a whole damn kettle. Like, <laughs> Bro, I'm glad. Like, we going to talk about it on another day, too, though, because I'm going to tell you about how my merch, when I first dropped it, I had to take it all down because the person who made the logo for me was one of my big supporters and turned around and copyrighted the photo. What so, the fuck? Damn. Why they do that to you, bro? Everybody bro. turning on you, bro. I swear, I swear. <laughs> you hear me? Only the law, only the loyalists know. Still me. riding with them. Damn. Damn. Damn, I'm so, going viral right now. I know, like right now. I know. Good nigga, you funny. Though. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, so what? What about? Let's talk about that. Uh, that feature that you were told did. That's just mad funny. It's different because it's comedy and a little country. You know what I'm saying? Right. And at first, I was like, "You playing, playing." <laughs> And then as it got deeper into the song, I was like, this dude, this is some funny ass shit, bro. Right, right. What made you take the comedy and then make a country song and then you say, I'm gonna make that shit go viral? Cause that is not a regular ass country song. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, I swear for God. <laughs> Excuse me. You is not the only person that said this. So my sister talk, she called me and she like, so you making parody music Yo, now? Yo, like, I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> she's, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, it sound like you making fun of country people. I said, what the fuck? How? I said, sometimes I wish I was a country But I believe you, though. That was the part I was like, I believe. That's that true deep down. He believe he really want, that's who he want to be. Y'all but I said, but they, they don't be understanding that this the lyrics, you hear me? Sometimes. <laughs> he say all the time. Sometimes. You feel me? Excuse me. Damn, it's, that's it's, it. It's a difference. It's a difference. <laughs> I didn't say all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you came to the song with it, you were like, hey, I want to make this song. What was his reaction? Because I know how he be. He be like real subtle with it. So, so how was his reaction? So look, I really, I really reached out to him in the beginning because I Googled. Um, recording studios near me. Okay. And it popped up. Dream Big Studios. Dream Come Big, check y'all. I Come swear to God. Us, hey, hey, and they make good music up in here, and oh, yeah. they got good podcasts. Oh, yeah. yeah. They gonna get you right, bro. So, so now, um, he, he was like, me and him had locked in. We locked in on the deal. But, you know, I was kind of, you know, procrastinating. I was supposed to go do something. I was kind of procrastinating, and then I just was fucking around on, uh, one of my little videos, I had heard a, a beat, a, like a Morgan Wilden type beat. Yeah. And I was just fucking around on my uh, video, just dropping bullshit. And I dropped that bit, and I was just freestyling it first. I'm like, ooh, man, okay, okay. But, yes, man. but you know, everybody, I guess this bitch got to be a funny comedy video on some trailer parks. Bro, I'm like, when you do the video, you better be you better be bringing all the funny. Because that shit, listening to it, I can all that imagine. I was like, this nigga walking in the meadow talking about some. <laughs> got, the, got the short song with it, bro. I can see you doing some crazy ass shit with the song, bro. Gonna, that needs to happen. Real talk, bro. Yeah, it's going to happen real soon. So hit. he locked me in with a couple of... Uh, Video people that shoot videos, and we're going to really lock that in. But okay. I'm working on the next hit, and the next hit, and the next hit after that. You feel me? First like, thing to do up. a parody song. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy, bro. That's some new ass shit. I ain't going to lie. Hey, and that's what I labeled it as. It's country and comedy. Like, when I put it out, I put it out under comedy and country. Yeah, this is definitely what it is. Cause is, you that, like, is he playing? Is that country? 
That's cum tree. Cum tree? Really? That sound fucked up. <laughs> no diddy. No diddy. Oh, diddy. No diddy. No diddy. <laughs> No diddy. You use that one. That's all diddy. He, he no like, diddy. He gonna come copyright that shit. <laughs> no God diddy. God. Hey, you gotta say that on things. No diddy, shit. bro. No diddy. No diddy, bro. No diddy. Right, no diddy, bro. Yo, man, that's... You got my ass with that one, bro. No, a lot of niggas said no diddy. Come, tree. <laughs> <laughs> I would just do that shit for the fucking fun of it. Niggas gonna be perfect just to go <laughs> spell it. <Come. laughs> nah, nigga. Not with no C U M, nigga. Nah. <laughs> it's C U E. Nigga, be like, they're gonna be like, what the fuck? Bro, I ain't don't do it like that. Don't do it like that. Diddy definitely gonna come. He see that shit go out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need everybody, y'all. Make sure y'all tap in and. I'm going to put the podcast link for yeah. anybody that wanted to rewatch it from the beginning and know the story. I'm going to put it in my bio, TikTok, Instagram. Y'all know what's going on. Yeah. Your boy gave us the tea. He gave us the sauce with TikTok. Hey, man, he beat a case. Then she died. Damn, I got to go. No, she ain't die. Ooh. Oh, no, you right. I'm killing the wrong person. I'm sorry. I, I still got the damn anchor money on. See, I know when she died. <laughs> <laughs> This is because that she did that shit because you was coming for her career. Okay. She said, "How dare you replace me?" <laughs> I swear, I'm just telling you the truth. If you think he bad. said, "If she die, I'ma know." <laughs> Trust me, I'ma be the first one though. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah! So what you got coming up in the future? I know you got a lot of shit. Y'all got go man, go run my boy up. You're already doing it anyway right now. But right. like, tell everybody what you got coming up, future projects with the come. Tree. Yeah, shut up, man. Come All on. Right, I'm no, I, no, don't make that hey. stick. Don't make that hey. stick. <laughs> don't make that stick, bro. Don't make it stick, bro. <laughs> what you got next, bro, with the parody? There you go. Right. So you know what, though? I'm a, Like I say, though, my next project is going to be more serious, but I'm going to bring that, that hood and that country together. Okay. Country. Country. God damn it. We go from country <laughs> to hunt. <laughs> they gonna say it's some freaky shit. Oh, Hunching man. and coming. <laughs> man, y'all, I love this podcast, man. Y'all make sure y'all pull them in, man. Plug yourself, man. Hey, it's PEG Podcast, man. That's P-E-G underscore podcast. I mean, you put it up, just type in PEG, it's gonna pop up. I'm telling you, we ain't there yet, but we there. You see what I'm saying? Far as spot, spot as podcast go, we hitting views, you feel me? My boy, he just gave me the sauce to the TikTok, so I'm gonna get it together. Don't talk about me. But we, we here, so you wanna come sit down with me? I know your story ain't like his story, you feel me? But if it got juice, we here. My boy, man, damn, bro, they was just trying to take you out of here. You all right in Texas. Like, they ain't got the Texas chains called Manson, bro. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. I promise. I love Texas with a passion. (laughs) Come on, miss it. (laughs) But I got to choose my women, woman, wisely. Wisely, bro. Somebody should have told, told me it was too soon, too soon in my career. <laughs> you learned early. So now you could definitely blow the fuck up now. Ain't nobody gonna come. Right. Sure. Everybody know what the business is. You already know what this just you like, mm, I smelled that shit, been right. through that shit, I'm gone. Right. Oh god. Y'all better listen to him. No, for real. He ain't got no more problems now. Y'all look up, my boy gonna be calm tree. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. I want to see you on tour, bro. That's, you're going to get a tour. You got to get the parody, the, all the parodies together. And that's going to be your. So, we gonna, I'm going to do a couple of videos with the phone first because I got this little ranch I'm going to go to where the horses, the Holy goats, and the, you know, and yeah, do a couple. I, I want them to take off because that when them take off, yeah. that's when the. Take out. Okay. Nah, hell yeah. I definitely see that shit going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Especially you got the freaky shit in that hump tree. Eight your buzz. Hump tree. <laughs> Man, look. Now, on, now Beyonce to pissed off the people, and you don't turn around piss them off even more. You know what? Beyonce, <laughs> Queen B. I love you. 
Queen B, listen to me. We need to collab. No, yeah? If you listening to this, both our country songs ain't kid. <laughs> but we gonna blow. Y'all gonna blow for real. Bro, they gonna shut y'all down. They gonna, they gonna do y'all like Will Smith and Chris Rock. Something gonna happen. And they be like, oh. Nah, Queen, Queen B got her own shit, so it gonna blow because the Beehive yeah. coming behind us. I know, and that's and then your people coming I behind us. I don't want no, I don't want the Beehive. No, no, no. We we all love over here, but if y'all do that country song though. Y'all, we we taking country back. Right. You know, I'm looking forward to that. Right. Beyonce and the Beehive, we love y'all. So no cancellation, no no cancellation, <laughs> no cancellation, bro. But like I like I that, say, man. And we can we can. Link up, we can do some old projects, you know, and maybe we'll sit down and do another podcast when, oh, yeah. when y'all free. Got to, bro. Like got to. You definitely re- got to keep putting up, bro. That's that's right. some funny ass shit. But I like how you came to me. That my, my boy Tone hit me up, showed me the videos. I was over here dying. I was like, hell yeah, bring him on, bro. Bring him on. So, hey, this has been a lot, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this. You want to know more? I know y'all know. Right here, you want to know more? Follow my man and keep going with his journey, cause bro, keep pissing these people off. You ain't got no more to lose. You know what I'm saying? Right. You already know what to expect. Right. When you hit the ground, it ain't nowhere else to go. But nowhere up. else to go. All right. For one last thing, before we get off, what would you tell people? There's, you know, I just said I gotta get there. Right. You know, if you doing something, it not just gotta be TikTok, but they doing something, but they don't feel like that shit about to happen because they got bullshit going on in their life. What you gonna tell them? How how you got through that shit while going through the bullshit? Actually, it was my fans. And supporters. I swear to God. Look, let me tell you something. Even though they knew I had the money back then to burn myself out of jail, yeah. somebody created a GoFundMe account in Dang, my name. Dang, come through. And I didn't have to pay a dime to get out of jail. That's why people hated you. They was like, damn, every time I locked this nigga up. Bro, <laughs> you know what they used to considering it back then? What? A coat. A coat? They felt like I had an online coat. The haters called it a coat. They didn't say, they didn't say R. Kelly had a coat, so why you got to have a coat? Shit, I ain't nothing like R. Kelly. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. R. Kelly didn't have a coat. I mean, he had so, a coat. So, I'm like, <laughs> shit. That's because if you came for me, this is what, this is what people famous line before they came for me and said something. I know I'm going to lose a lot of followers for this, but, and that's how it happened. Oh, for, for saying what you finna say? Huh? You saw for saying what you finna say? You're gonna lose a lot of followers. Yeah, they saying? say a lot of people start that oh. video off. I know I saying what I'm about to say, I might lose a lot of followers and then say what they about to say for this. Cause they know you're gonna lose a lot of followers and a lot of people gonna report your shit, report your page. Damn, and- bro. And be trolling hard as shit. Like why is it so offensive about it, man? They take it all personal and shit. My they thing, on your page. My thing is, if you don't like something, get the fuck off it. You don't have to, bro. The block button is for it's everybody. It's literally right there. It's for everybody. Or you could just keep motherfucking scrolling. Like, right. you didn't have to fucking you, stop. You, right. <laughs> Somebody was on there like, stop it, his motherfucking page. Right. <laughs> right. Hold on. I don't like this. Y'all, 40,000 people just like this motherfucking I'm video. I'm reporting this motherfucker. He ain't like, even funny. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I'm up there really dancing. I go buy all type of shit off of T-Mo. Right. And don't nobody, uh, yeah, don't nobody like my shit, so fuck him. Well, fuck you. <laughs> shit, fuck you. Come the boy up there. Come on, man. Shit, it's you hate, you could have just clapped with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. But, hey, man, you definitely have came through a lot. I'm behind you 150%. You feel me? Hey, keep pushing, bro. You got my shit. Y'all stop hating. Y'all ain't hating. But stop hating, you feel me? If you are secret hating, hating, you follow my boy, keep doing your job, nigga. We like that, you feel me? Keep doing your job because you pushing him. And man, look, nobody told y'all as it's today, tomorrow, yesterday that they love you. Know that Star from the PG Podcast love you. Hey. 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 Get <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> We at the sound, my man. We at the sound, my man. My love you, bro. In Texas. <laughs> Tell Bicky I still want that iPhone 12. Bicky, you put me on game. I ain't never heard no goddamn iPhone 12. I'm still trying to figure out when the fuck they put that shit out. Bro, I promise you. If it, I'm glad I got iPhone 15. Shit. Come on now. They must be a small-ass phone. It's a quail. What the fuck? Is it shaped like a damn quail? Like... 
I don't know. But <laughs> shit, you, I click the link in the bio on my iPhone. Was moving slow as a shit. Oh God, I had an iPhone. On that I had an eleven. <laughs> I pro- I had an eleven. You hear me? Man, my shit slow all the fuck down. Like, just watch her videos, and I promise you. Got that. you. Nah, for real. That she was setting your ass up. Right. Still getting your people. You know, man. He came in. He lied us up. So again, nobody love you too, today, tomorrow, yesterday. You know that we love you here and. Be inspired. Go for your dreams. Don't stop. You see, he ain't stopped me. If y'all hasn't went through the shit he went through, don't fucking stop and piss off every fucking body if you got to because you're going to make them haters and that haters going to support your ass, okay? All right. And we out. What you got to say? You got anything to say? Y'all know haters make y'all famous. Famous. I promise you, they make you famous. He did it 12 you know? times. He got famous 12 times. Make you famous. You feel me? Sweet. Don't sleep, nigga. And we out. Let's go. Ah!